Agnew. Agnew with five on the shot clock. Agnew driving, kicks it out. Grigley on pump fake. Was able to give the ball up and Sarda knocks in the shot as the shot clock expired and it's 4-2. Fine line between playing up tempo and being out of control. You and I have been out of control most of this quarter. Absolutely. Excellent pass from Sarda inside to Rachel Saunders. And the Jays now with a 12-9 lead. And that will lead to a timeout from Tanya Warren. So the Jays really could wind this thing all the way down here at the end of the quarter. Sarda has the ball, blows by a couple of defenders, pulls up, excellent shot there with a couple of seconds left. And that will be the end of the first quarter. And the Blue Jays will have a 14-11 advantage. That team certainly has a lot of off the ball movement. Saunders with it beyond the three point line. She had Sarda open inside, unable to get it to her. Here's Brodsky now into the paint. She gives it back to Griglione. A three-point attempt now coming from Rachel Saunders, and it falls 23-15 J. Time. That's where Sarda stands right now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. She finally goes in. Kicks it back out to Saunders at the top of the key. Saunders drives, stop, pop, gets it off the glass. Excellent shot, 25-20 J. She likes that little spot on the year. Here's Agnew now at the top of the key. She decides to shoot a three, and that one nothing but that. Wow, what a shot there by Jalen Agnew. And the Jays have the lead by five. What did we just say? Look for her to be more selfish in the second half. There you go. Heck of a way to start for Agnew. Time. That's where Sarda stands right now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. She finally goes in. Kicks it back out to Saunders at the top of the key. Saunders drives, stops, pops, gets it off the glass. Excellent shot, 25-20 Jays. She likes that little spot on the year. Here's Agnew now at the top of the key. She decides to shoot a three, and that one nothing but that. Wow, what a shot there by Jalen Agnew. And the Jays have the lead by five. What did we just say? Look for her to be more selfish in the second half. There you go. Heck of a way to start for Agnew. And the shot went off of the board. And a rebound taken in by you and I. They have a chance to take the lead. Excellent block there by Carly Batchelor. And the Jays looked like they were about to go the other way, but instead of four very quickly, a three-point shot missed off the front of the iron. That was huge as Nicole Prager couldn't get it to fall. Rimbaud quickly up the floor. She gets it to go off the glass. Them all year, and so it's not a double-digit lead just yet. Here's a three on the other side from Saunders. That one goes nothing but net. Huge shot there, and it's 54 to 48. Oh, it goes the other way. There are two and a half minutes remaining. Saunders picks up her dribble in front of the bench. Jalen Agnew has the ball now. Sarda, excellent pump fake, drives in with the floater, and that one falls, and it's suddenly 54 50. You and I with the lead, 218. They try to trap her. Nice job, though, by Rucker to give it away. And then the other way, Tatum Rimbaud with the steal. Left handed layup. That one falls, and this one's tied with 48.6 to 